The Stemco Pro Torque axle spindle nut provides a robust solution that consistently delivers accurate wheel end play in the range of one to three thousandths. Using a torque wrench, tighten the Pro Torque nut to 200 foot pounds. Spin the wheel at least one full rotation and repeat this step three times. Back the nut off until it is loose. Using a torque wrench, tighten the nut to 100 foot-pounds. Spin the wheel at least one full rotation and repeat this step three times. Back the nut off one raised face mark. For more questions about this procedure, please see the ProTorque installation instructions or view www.stemco.com. Insert the keeper tab into the undercut groove of the nut and engage the keyway tang in the axle keyway with the orange side facing out. Engage the mating teeth, compress and insert the keeper arms one at a time into the undercut groove with a screwdriver. For steer axles, the tang may be replaced by a D-flat which will mate with the milled flat on the spindle. Failure to follow this instruction could result in a wheel-off condition and cause bodily injury. Using a magnetic base, mount the dial indicator on the spindle end, making sure the hub face is clean and free of gasket material. Adjust the arm of the dial indicator, setting the plunger tip of the indicator on the machined face of the hub at the 12 o'clock position. The plunger should be set up so that it is parallel to the axle of the spindle. When positioning the indicator tip, ensure that the indicator has adequate range of travel for proper measurement. Set the indicator to zero. Grasp the wheel hub assembly at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Pull the wheel end assembly outward while oscillating the wheel approximately 45 degrees. While continuing to pull, stop oscillating and read the indicator. Push the wheel assembly inward while oscillating. While continuing to push, stop oscillating and read the indicator. Read the end play as total movement. Acceptable end play is one to five thousandths as measured with a dial indicator as per TMC's recommended bearing adjustment procedure. It is a good practice to record the final end play on the work order. Using a new gasket, install the hubcap and torque the bolts in the normal star pattern. The most popular hubcaps, such as the 4009 and 4195, using a 5 16th bolt, are torqued to 12 to 16 foot-pounds. Other applications are listed in the Stemco catalog or website. As we button up the wheel end, we look at the use of oil and grease. Today, oil is the most frequently used lubrication in wheel ends. In any of the seal applications that a fleet may use, the hub reservoir is often partially filled just before the outer bearing is put in place. This reduces the amount of oil that has to seep through the outer bearing to fill the reservoir and bring the oil to its proper level. The same may be done with semi-fluid grease, using a template to hold the grease in place. For axles using a Stemco hubcap, bring the oil up to the level between the full and add marks on the window. For grease applications, add a small amount of semi-fluid grease in the corner of the hubcap between the edge of the flange and the vent mechanism. Do not cover the vent mechanism. On drive axles, jack up the opposite side of the axle 8 to 10 inches to fill the hub cavity. The differential should be checked for proper level and the axle vent plug should be checked to make certain that it is clear. Following these simple steps builds consistency in wheel end installations ensures greater safety on our roadways, prevents premature failure, and lowers cost.